for either of you guys. How good did it feel to have the lid come off the basket a little bit, especially from, from three-point range? Um, it felt great, for real, just seeing everybody out there having fun, you know. Um, Zoe, I think Zoe did a good job getting everybody involved, you know, um, making sure the ball touches everybody's hand. Uh, I think we shot, what Coach said, we shot over 52% from the three, so that's impressive. You know, you shoot that any time, you're going to win, for real. What the offense is supposed to look like with 19 assists, all the main three-pointers, and just the, the overall execution? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. We had 20 assists, by the way. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, absolutely. You know, um, different games calls for different um, executions. <clears throat> so um, I wanted to get my team involved and get them uh, a good feel going into Christmas break. And that was pretty much my job for the night. And um, that's what I tried to do and execute that. But, um, yes, it feels good. It always feels good to get the win. So, yeah. Can a game like this have on your guys' confidence going forward? Can this carry over into the, you know, after the break? Um, it's a lot of confidence, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, whether we win or lose, we try to focus on the next game, you know. Um, so just keep pushing and stay confident. But that, that game definitely gave everybody confidence going into the, um, going into the break. This might seem like a, a dumb question, but how important is confidence to, to this game? Well, it's conf confidence is everything. Yeah. For real. You know, it's more mental game. It's a mental game. You know, everybody done did the work over the summer, you know. We all did everything, coach, everybody, you know, but it's, it's just confidence now and, and just getting your mind right. To me, it's all about um, just confidence and, and mixture of confidence and trust. Um, just us trusting each other tonight, moving the ball, um, making that extra pass, um, things like that. Um, it, very plays, it plays a very big part um, in what we're trying to do. And, um, I, I'm not giving up on this team. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna stop working hard every day, and I'm not gonna stop pushing these guys. Um, so, like, we gonna keep this thing going, and we gonna figure it out. And um, yeah, this is a, a, a very good win to have going into the break. You said Alonzo, Coach Schwiper talked a couple of days ago about maybe pulling guys a little quicker if they made a mistake or took a bad shot or whatever. Did that kind of get your guys' attention in practice the last couple of days? <laughs> <laughs> of course, <laughs> that gets a lot of people attention, man. Um, you know, um, it's a, it could be a good thing and a bad thing because you know you don't want your players overthinking, and you also want to have control over your players too. So it's just a mixture, and coach, coach is doing good with that. Um, I, as you can see, that didn't really hesitate. I didn't um, waver anybody tonight. Um, I think we all did what we normally do, and um, tonight the difference between all the other games is our shot was just falling. And one thing I feel like that we um, we can't do is just rely on a three-point shooting. Uh, we have to just, you know, mix it up. When the shot is not falling, then what are we going to do other than shoot the three? And, you know, that's 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 the next step, and that's what, what I want my guys. Because we got Lat, we got Kase, guys that can attack the basket very well. Um, so, you know, I just want them to exploit their other skills and things like that, so I'm excited. Confidence, though, with the way the game started, you guys fell behind by eight early. What was different about how you responded this night as opposed to some of the previous games when things kind of snowballed on a little bit? I would say um, practice, um, preparation. Um, we were going through a lot of adversity um, in practice this week, and um, we fought through it. And usually we will break down, and it will just go all over the place. Practice would be hell. So, you know, um, this week uh, we fought through it. We um, we pushed through all the all the things coach put us through, and I think that transferred over to the game. And when we were down eight, we didn't panic, or um, you know, we kind of stayed level headed and just kept playing. What's it been like for you? I think you were shooting something around twenty two percent or something coming into tonight. To know that those shots you've made those shots before, but they weren't falling this year. <clears throat> I mean. Um... It's been tough, but you know I got my teammates. You know they they every day they encourage me. You know keep shooting. You know just keep the mi same mindset every game. You know on to the next play, make or miss. You know so that's just the mindset I gotta have. You know make the next shot or take the next shot. How would you guys evaluate how this finished a non conference play? How would you evaluate how it went for you guys? <clears throat> to be honest, um, it hasn't obviously it hasn't gone the way we wanted to go. You know, but it's a. It's a team thing. We just got to keep building, you know, keep trusting each other, keep building each other's confidence, you know, and get it going. Um, what I would take from that is um, I would say that we, um, we, uh, 
out of all them losses, we learning. Um, and that's the biggest thing. We're learning and we're, uh, we're going through adversity right now. And I feel like when it does come to that time where we're in a game and it's a close game, we done been through everything. We done, our back has been against the wall this whole season. So um, I feel like it's prepping us for what's, what's coming ahead. And like I said, um, I trust my team fully, and I just feel like um, this is this is what we needed to open up the gates for us. Um, I would say as far as just them two conference losses, just um, not giving up on each other. Um, we, we tend to, when things are not going our way, put our heads down and, and, and pout and point the finger when we, uh, we all just took a look in the mirror and, and try to figure out what we could do better. And that's uh, one thing that we learned out of this whole process. And nobody is wrong. We all hold each other accountable. And that's how we're going to. That's how we're going to get better each and every day. You guys talked about wanting to, to make history and make a tournament run. Do you guys still feel like those goals are still on the table, still attainable? Absolutely. Definitely. Absolutely. Well, so how do you describe the spark that Trevor Lakes provided tonight off the bench? Oh, man, I was so excited because, like, it's always, it's always so exciting seeing somebody you practice with and work hard every day and, you know, that don't always get the opportunity to play. And when he does, he shows – exactly what he's capable of doing, which is shooting the ball. In practice, he shoots the ball, and, and it transferred over. And he comes in every day. He doesn't point the finger or pout or, or, or talk down on anybody. You know, that's what happens when you be patient and, and wait your turn. So I'm, I'm very proud of him. Anything else for you guys? Thank you. Thanks, yeah. Thanks,